It will be the first meeting between the heads of states in five years. President Rodrigo Duterte is leading a 300-strong delegation of Filipino business leaders who are hoping to expand trading deals with China. A major test for the newly elected president is how he can transform himself from someone seen in other parts of the world as petulant and erratic to a leading statesman who can persuade global leaders. The Philippines continues to have a territorial dispute with China over the Spratlys Islands in the South China Sea. The Philippines won a legal victory against China in July. Government leaders in Beijing claim most of the South China Sea is Chinese territory. The United Nations Convention of the Law of the Seas Tribunal ruled China's claim is invalid. The Chinese government refuses to accept the ruling of the court in the Netherlands. Talking to Al Jazeera a few days ago, President Duterte said it's not in the Philippines' interest to risk alienating the Chinese leadership by insisting its claim in another territorial dispute over Scarborough Shoal. What do you think will happen to my country if I choose to go to war? I fight alone? Or I, I, I would call upon the other countries to help me? Who? Who would die for my country except us? So we can only talk. And that's why they invited me for talks. I will go. That's why Senior I Supreme Court me. Justice Antonio Carpio was part of the delegation which represented the Philippine government at the Hague hearings. He says the president should be more careful with his comments. It's not a, a choice of only two where we go to war or to talk. No, nobody thinks of going to war because, you know, even China doesn't intend to go to war. The president has assured the nation that he will stay within the four corners of the ruling of the tribunal. He will not give up our sovereignty to any of our territories or islands. For me, that's the bottom line. With that, uh, everything else is a matter of style. Within a few months, President Rodrigo Duterte has rattled the delicate geopolitical balance in Asia. The United States has long been an ally of the Philippines in times of war and disaster. Now he says the Philippines will distance itself from the U.S. to foster closer relations with China. Many here see that as strategically risky. They think that China's reliability as a partner of the Philippines is untested. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.